This one's for the North Sea crude bears out there. Just when you thought it was safe to go back into the water, Nick minute. Long story short, North Sea crude grades were on a massive sale over the holidays and traders were keen to snap up some cheap 40s crude while stocks last. We all love a good comeback story, against all odds. Resilience in the face of adversity. Data Brent, no homo, you are my hero. Not gonna lie, after the last two years, analyzing the oil market this year was like watching paint dry. And I quote our oil market report. What a shit time to trade. In terms of the narrative, the Houthis were no match for Vladimir Putin and China's reopening. People like to be bullish, but it's really hard to be during an industrial recession like in Europe or China. Or the fact that non OPEC oil production is booming. To be sure, North Sea fundamentals were looking bearish. We were bearish too. With freight prices so high, 40s were setting the forward curve once again. Refinery margins were pretty mid, and the Eastern Arab was closed on the back of a positive dated Dubai. But everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked. As a result, Libya's NOC declared force majeure at Sharara oil field. This would serve to tighten the Mediterranean and North Sea sweet crude markets. The January DFL rallied above a dollar, its highest level since September. You may ask, are these levels even justified? I don't know. Well, that's up to the market to decide. And the truth is, traders were saturated short in both January DFL and dated with open interest for both beyond the five-year maximum. Wow. It's safe to say that a lot of bears were caught napping and stopped out of their positions. Move over bears. The bulls are back in town, baby.